hey guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is vicky and i am a lagos based youtuber okay all right i got that intro right all right <laughs> so guys thank you so very much for clicking on my video to watch and if you are new to my channel or you're seeing my face for the very first time hello hello welcome to my channel please don't forget or do well to hit on the red subscribe button subscribe to my channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video like this and for those of you who are my returning subscribers hello <laughs> hello like Una, welcome 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 please thank you so very much for coming back to watch thank you so very much for stopping by i appreciate each and every one of you for the support for the love i am super duper grateful so guys how has the stay at home been how has the quarantine been how have you guys been coping today i just brought a new video or a different video i'm actually looking at my voice coming <laughs> don't mind me so today i brought a video i haven't been married to a yoruba guy i'm married to yoruba i am not a yoruba i am not even from the west i am from the south like i am from aquarium and my husband is a legoshan he's a yoruba guy and then i i i think i'm a little bit experienced or i think i have a little bit knowledge on how to tell you guys tips to impress your yoruba in-laws for those of you who are newly wed or for those of you who are planning to get married to a yoruba guy or for those of you who just want to know do you understand so these are just tips i have noticed most of these tips do not apply to me but there are things i have actually noticed that the yorubas really like and these are the things you can do to actually impress them because it's a very delicate issue handling your in-laws so you have to be a step ahead so that you don't step on any toes or you don't have issues with people and you live happily ever after with everybody so i will just be outlining a few tips maybe five or six or four thereabouts whichever one i remember and i'll just be educating you guys on how to you know impress them so without further blabbing or without further ado let us get right into this video so, so this number one, one tip that I'll be telling you guys on how to impress your Yoruba in-laws is to show respect. Respect and more respect. Like Yorubas, they are they are in on respect. Yorubas, they like so much respect. Yorubas that they can they eat respect, they breathe re respect, they sleep with respect. Like you can't deal with a Yoruba person or a Yoruba in-law or a Yoruba somebody without having that kind of some atom of respect in you. It, considering where I'm, I come from, there are things Yorubas take as insult, or there are things Yoruba is very is a very there are things that are very delicate issues with the Yorubas that we don't see as anything in my area. Not that we are not respectful or not that we are insolent, but that is just what the Yorubas they like. Yorubas they like a lot of respect, like respect them as much as you can. Respect your if you have a Yoruba in law, if you if you're a very respectful person then you are on your way to having a blissful relationship with your in-laws. And then the number two tips on how to win your in-laws over or how to impress your in-laws are for you to learn their language. I've been married to my husband for like five years now. And truthfully, like I said in from the beginning of this video, that most of these tips do not apply to me. You understand? If you learn their language, learning their language is part of the things you do to impress them like like i said married i married my husband we've been married for five years and each time i go to see my father-in-law he, he he wants to speak like one or two yoruba to me to see if i've actually started learning but to be very honest with you guys i don't even know jack shit in yoruba i have not learned nothing that's because i actually do not have friends around and i actually do not mingle with people not to talk of yoruba you understand and then my husband is someone that hardly speaks his language so you're not going to learn it from so that's just being it in but i think that if you actually learn their yoruba or you actually put interest in learning it it's just part of the things you do to just impress them that's showing them that okay i'm more into you guys i'm intentional about coming into this place i really want to get to know you people i really want to incorporate myself with you guys so learning their language is one of the things you will do to actually impress them in your own little way and then the number three thing you can do to impress your yoruba in laws are complimenting them like yorubas they like praise whether you they watch them or not you just praise them whether they are beautiful or not tell them they are beautiful whether they are just they are looking good or not tell them they are looking good yorubas mostly like 
more of compliments if you compliment your by you just you are actually winning them over to yourself actually you just have to give them that praise that compliment oh daddy you're looking good oh mommy you're looking beautiful oh sister me you're looking just keep praising them praise the yorubas just compliment them as much as possible and that is part of you impressing them you're impressing them you're making them feel like ah this is our yawo this is our yawo will make sense so this is our yawo <laughs> it's 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 a what's up person or, or i think this girl it's gonna make sense in our family and that's that's just part of the things you would do to actually impress your yoruba in law and then another another tip on how to impress your yoruba in law is as a an intending um daughter-in-law you have to greet like a yoruba girl irrespective of where you are from whether you're from Ibo, whether you're from Ansa, whether you're from the south or where are your tfu wherever you are from you have to learn to greet like the yorubas the yorubas do not greet like where i come from where i come from as a girl you can stand and greet your elder you can stretch handshake to your elder you can just but yorubas they are greeting pattern is you have to kneel down to greet you have to <laughs> straight to greet so as a, a prospective in-law to impress or to win your in-laws over it's you have to learn how to greet like the yorubas like i actually i literally to learn this from my husband my husband literally taught me the first day i was about to meet his father he was telling me how i was going to greet him because that was the first time of me coming into the yoruba land or coming into a yoruba household do you understand and then i wouldn't bring my own our own pattern where i can just go and say good morning sir to my father-in-law you understand you have to kneel down and just greet like it that's part of the way to impress them actually you understand so you will just greet them irrespective of where you come from you learn to greet in their own way do you understand that's just part of the thing and then the next one the next thing you can do to to impress your yoruba in-laws is actually making their favorite meal <laughs> I don't know how to make any Yoruba meal. That's why I also told you from the beginning it doesn't apply to me. But I realized that in as much as as an is an in-law or a daughter-in-law or somebody who who intends to enter into a certain family or a certain background, you have to actually show your in-laws or make your in-laws believe that you can actually cook or show them some culinary skill. You understand? So in my own little way, when I went to my if I go to my mother-in-law's place or I go to my father-in-law's house, I actually show my culinary skill in my own way. But I actually do not know how to cook any yoruba meal so if you want to impress your yoruba in love and your 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 fiance's parents are both yoruba mine why my case is a bit a little bit different is because they are both not yorubas and then my husband is really not into the yoruba meals you get so that's why my case is different but you know that when once you're going into a place where they are typical yorubas you have to learn how to make their meals and then you flaunt your skills in the kitchen when you have the opportunity to do that so that maybe they will be sure that ah their son is safe in your hand and their son will not miss home when they get together with you but me i am not married to a typical yoruba so i actually flaunt my culinary skill in a different manner in a different meal in my own way so that's just part of the things and then if you want to impress your another another thing you can do to impress your yoruba in law is to call their mother's mommy like you have to call them mommy because one they don't call them any other name don't try it don't try it your bad pay mother in laws they like mommy that name mommy you don't joke with it because someone like me i i, I all up until now i actually do not like calling somebody who is not my mom mommy that's just me it's not it's nothing personal but because of how the thing is you understand because if i came and i found out that is what they like i had no choice in fact my mother-in-law said because ever since i gave birth to my child i started calling my mother-in-law grandma because i call her grandma for my children to learn to call her grandma i i i almost in fact always forget that she's my mother-in-law that i don't even remember i call her i just refer to her as grandma and then sometimes then i now remember i oh she's my mother-in-law you understand that kind of a thing so please call your mother-in-law's mommy do not call them ma auntie madam no because me i can just good morning ma good morning that's how i am but marrying a yoruba please please they like mommy call them mommy that's what they like and then the next point which will be like the last one I, I can remember is if you are marrying a Yoruba person how to impress them is to get pregnant immediately in fact as they marry you today please get pregnant today please that's how you will impress them <laughs> but 
that cannot be the case please i'm just trying to tell you that every in-law behave differently you understand every in-law will appreciate you if you get pregnant immediately that is if there is no medical condition underlining or something like that but whatever the case is these are part of the things that you can actually do to actually impress i cannot stretch more stress more on that particular topic but that is just what to do to impress your yoruba in-laws so these are just a few things you can do to actually impress your yoruba in-laws to actually win them a little bit over in-laws differ some in-laws are very difficult to relate with some are very accommodating but whatever it is if you apply one or two of these skills you can at least soften your ground soften your landing a little bit and so it doesn't become so difficult for you to relate with them so i don't know if you guys have ideas on how those of, those of you who are watching me who are yorubas or who have related with yorubas or who have lived with yorubas who know more about the yorubas please leave it in the comment section how you feel one can win their in-laws over how you feel one can impress their in-laws i would love to hear from you guys i would love to hear your own story i would love to hear your own suggestion please do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up Drop me a comment down below and finish what I just did. This is just me coming to just tell you people my own idea and nothing more. Share this video with your loved ones and do not forget to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I post a new video. Thank you so very much guys for watching me. Stay safe, stay at home and do not forget to wash your hands, sanitize your hands always. I will see you guys in my next video guys. Bye-bye.